Okay, this is uh, my frame. It's a steel frame, rather than uh, you can't do this with alloy frames, um, mainly because the sodium hydroxide and the uh, caustic soda will actually dissolve the alloy, rather than, uh, but it won't touch the steel. Um, you can see this fine. You can actually see inside the frame. Now you still see the rust, and it won't have cleaned it off at all. Um, the caustic soda you can buy from your local hardware store. Just a value caustic soda. It's about two pounds fifty, five hundred grams. Um, this is quite a long seat post. It's about thirty centimeters deep into the uh, into the frame. Um, so it's taken about two bottles, but it's only cost sort of five quid. Um, normally you sort of mix about maybe two tablespoons with a hundred, two hundred mils of water. Uh, you can mix it thicker or thinner. Um, obviously, if you do do it too thick, it will uh, it will just bubble over because the reaction will be quite violent. Um, and uh, one of the dangers with this is obviously the caustic soda is quite bad for your paintwork. If it gets on the paintwork, you're best to clean it off uh, straight away. Um, you might be able to just see it's all sort of still bubbling there. That's the last part of the uh, of the seat post. Um, obviously, this is kind of a, a bit of a last resort kind of thing. Um, cause it does, it is quite a lot of effort compared to normal seat post removal. Um, but if there's no other way of getting it out, then um, it will work a treat. Um, you can also see there's quite a lot of tape on the frame. Um, this is where I've plugged up holes. Um, I've been using blue tack and then um, just some standard electrical tape for holes on the frame because uh, basically there's, there's normally holes in the bottom bracket, um, but you'll find that there's also holes from each tube. So as you fill up sort of to the top here, um, you'll find you'll get liquid running up here. Um, you can see in the headset there, there's uh, some blue tack covered with tape. Um, stop obviously it all pouring out um, then as the seat post is further removed uh, there's also a hole um, just here uh, I was getting stuff running out and then down through these bottom tubes um, but it's all taped up um, obviously afterwards once you've finished with this it'd be good to leave some vinegar in it for a few days well maybe not even that long um, just to get rid of the remaining caustic soda because um, obviously if you put another alloy seat post in it will it will melt that obviously Hopefully you shouldn't be having the same sort of issues and having to use this more than once. Um, when you put a seat post in, make sure you grease it quite well. Um, but yeah, it all seems to work and uh, I'll maybe put another video on with the remnants that's, uh, that's left at the end. Okay, now we can see the uh, the remains of the, of the seat post here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty thin. Uh, didn't really want to ride on that if it was uh, if it was a normal seat post. Um, it's taken until about 10 days for it to get to this stage. Uh, the top was already cut off. Um, you can see the inside of the tube. You can just see the sort of remnants of the, the mucky water and that. Um, and there was the other provisos I forgot to say earlier. You should probably be careful and not uh, wear gloves and goggles and all that sort of thing. Some people online suggest things such as Tyvek suits and stuff, but probably not quite that necessary. Um, it is obviously uh, a bit dangerous, but not uh, not horrifically. It's, uh, it's a mild, well, a mediocre kind of irritant. Obviously, if you're using straight lab quality sodium hydroxide, then different rules apply. Um, this is only for sort of lye mixed in water. Um, also, be careful when mixing, as it does heat up quite quite a lot when you mix the, uh, the actual crystals with the water um, and that's when it will kind of spew over and stuff like that so goggles and uh, gloves are, are probably a pretty, pretty good idea um, yeah uh, and you can see there's you can't really see very well but there's not massive amounts of damage to the paintwork some of the top coats come off um, but it has been washed as going along and a lot of the time it has actually been covered um, it was only for the seventh stage that it was all uh, it was all uncovered.